Hello guys, welcome once again. First of all, I want to apologize for uh, the absence of audio in the last video on Eclipse GUI application. There was some problem with my microphone and now I have fixed it. So you will be able to hear my voice now. So in the last video, we have seen how to link a combo box with the database values, right? So I linked this name column with a combo box and I populated names, all the names from my database or all the names from the names column in my database to my combo box. Now in this video, I will show you how you can transfer the respective value. For example, I select some name here and all the data related to Julie, for example, should appear in this text box. So how you can achieve this uh, using your Eclipse GUI, I will show you. So what I'm going to show you, whenever you select some item in the combo box, the corresponding value, for example, the employee ID of Julie, the surname of Julie and age of Julie will appear here. And similarly, it should happen for every name here. So how you can achieve this, I will show you in this video. So let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is just go to your combo box and select your combo box and double click it. And once you double click this combo box, you will be able to go to the source or not. So if it doesn't go to the source code, what you need to do, just right click it and just go to add event handler and go to action performed okay and then you will reach to the action perform method of this combo box okay now in here what you need to do in this action perform method of this combo box you need to add the code so that it listens for uh, or it's it listens for the selected item in the combo box and then on the basis of that selected item we will show the mess show the values in the JT text fields right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sample try catch block which we are using for now very long for now I think and this is a sample uh, code I have been using in the last few videos now, right? So in this combo box button click event or action perform event, I have this ca try catch block which I use to catch any exception if any exception occurs, and then I have this uh, query string in which I pass some query, and then I create a prepared statement and I pass the query to the connection of prepared statement and I, I execute this query okay so I'm going to use this and at the end of uh, after executing this query I just close this prepared statement connection right so I'm going to use the same thing but in here I'm not going to use this execute PST dot execute but because I will change the I will change this query First of all, let's uh, see what will be the query uh, in our case to uh, select all the values from the database. So just write select star or all from your database, right? So database name in our case is I think employee info, right? So you need to write the name employee info this is the table name right and then we need to give the clause where because combo box is populating name column field right so we are going to use name as our condition okay so we are going to use name so where name is equal to and whatever is the value in the combo box we will give as a name but for now I will give this question mark here and then we will fill this question mark with the code. Then we pass this query 
to the prepared statement with the connection connection dot prepared statement query and after that we want to execute this query right but first of all what we are going to do is we will uh, pass the value from the combo box to the query right so in here instead of this question mark i want to pass the value which i get from the combo box so i will write pst pst dot set string set string and the first argument is the index so we only have one value to fill in here so index starts from one and the second argument is the item which is selected in the combo box so let's see how we can pass this item okay so our combo box name is this one combo box name right so just copy the name of the combo box dot then we need to have the selected item so just write get selected item okay and this selected item will return you the index or uh, sorry the object uh, which is selected so this is not a string but this second argument of pst uh, expects a string you see when you hover over here it expects a string as a second argument but what this uh, combo box name dot get selected item will give you it will give you an object so we need to type cast this object to the string so how you can do it just enclose this this enclose this um, combo box dot get selected item in a bracket and then or you don't even need to do this you just need to write little bracket in front of this combo box name dot get selected index and just here we will type cast this object to string so just write string okay and what this bracket string will do is it will convert your uh, object which you are getting from combo box name dot uh, get selected item to the string that's why we are type casting it to the string now in the next line we will execute the query so what we can do um, we can write and because this is a select query we have to we are expecting some results so we need to write result set result set rs is equal to pst dot execute query okay and then whatever result we get in this rs object we will iterate through this by while loop while rs dot next and while until and unless we are getting the values we will iterate through the while loop and it is showing error Oops. okay we will uh, see this error afterwards but yeah so in this while loop what we need to do is we need to get the values right from the whatever on the basis of selected item so what we need to do is just copy just copy for example right now i will comment this because i need to go to design view so i will go to the design view and if if this error if you see this error kind of thing what you need to do is just click this repass some until and unless you see your design okay so just click this repass 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 until and unless you see your design okay so what we need to do here is we need to copy first of all this the name of this text box field from employee id 
which is EID text EID go to your source or go to the action perform method of this which we are writing the code in and in here we have written this while loop right and now what we need to do here is we need to pass the values which we are getting uh, after executing the command to the text box so just write the name of the text box dot set text set text and the argument here will be the column name okay so what what is the column name in the database we have i will open it and let's see what is the column name we have so the column name we have in the database is eid okay so you need to write the column name here uh, because we we are transferring this value from this column to the eid text box right eid in the same way you need to do this the same thing for uh, name so name will come here and surname surname will come here and age you see eid name surname and age this has the same name as my column names okay age and this these text field name will also change so for uh, the text field name for uh, this um, for this uh, uh, name will be let's see what is the text field name of the name text field text field name i will copy this and paste it here and then the text field name for surname so i will copy the name surname text field name or variable name and then i will take the age text field name okay age text field name this will come here okay so after you get these value it will be set to your uh, set to your uh, uh, this one text boxes and then it will give you the result so i think this is the code you need to write in order to transfer the selected value from the combo box the respond uh, corresponding values to the text box and let's see why this is showing us error syntax error and to complete statement so let me see what is the error here okay so this error is while should be like this with small letter not with the capital letter that's why it was showing java is a case sensitive language so just remember that the, these keyword are case sensitive so you cannot write capital w and h i l e you need to write in this format okay so this is the code you require to transfer the value let's try and run the code and let's see if it gives us the result required result so you see as soon as you run the program it has transferred the values whatever because here is selected mark so corresponding values to mark will come here so for example i select mark or okay so it's showing eid name surname and age so this this is wrong let's see why we are getting the problem here because we are just setting these string to these text boxes but we need to uh, transfer the result so i forget to transfer the result of eid i'm directly doing this as a string so what we need to do is just write rs dot get string okay and this eid will come here as an argument okay so just cut it from here and paste it as an argument and the same will happen for the name surname 
and age okay so just remember these things and here as an argument the surname will come surname and here as an argument age will come okay now i once again run my program i will run my program and now you see the right values so the selected name already here is mark so corresponding value to mark is coming here his employee id is 1 his surname and his age you can check with the database values if it they are true or not or you can check from this table also the mark name has the employee id 1 surname is this one and age is this now we've select the other name for example john you see all the values corresponding to john comes here once again peter all the values corresponding to peter transfers here or jonathan all the values corresponding to jonathan comes here so in this way you can uh, write a code to uh, select any item from the con combo box and show the corresponding values in the text field okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now